that's honey. What's truly good, guys, we're gonna do some sampling and we're gonna use our iPhone to sample into the Push 3. Now, how we do this is we're gonna get this Y cable over here. You get this cable from Amazon or anywhere, but basically it's gonna be a left and right quarter inch and then the Y connector part is going to convert into a eighth inch. Now, what we have here is an adapter and this adapter allows us to go from eighth inch to lightning. And so this is going to go into here, which is our converter from an eighth inch to a lightning. Now I am currently using the iPhone 14 Pro Max at the time of shooting this video. So this is lightning. Now you can get a separate adapter for type C. So we're gonna connect this, boom. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go into an audio track here. And as soon as we turn on the audio track, we should hear some sound. So what we're gonna do right now is hit our mixer button and then we're gonna hit it again. So we gotta hit it twice. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure our input is set correctly. So we're gonna come over here to our input where it says inputs and outputs. We're gonna click that. And now it's set to input channel one. So what we wanna do is we wanna get this to input channels one and two. So we're gonna change this to external in, and now we have both channels enabled. Let's check it. Perfect, so we see our meters and we're, we're looking good, making sure we're not clipping. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna record into a clip here. So what we wanna do is come out of the mixer and let's come over here to our clips. So what we're gonna do is just hit record. All right, so it's ready for us. Now we can go ahead and record into it. Solid, and let's make sure we turn fixed length off. All right, let's record, here we go. That's hot. Solid, that's all I need, so let's stop the recording. Now what we're gonna do is come over here and hit convert. Now what we're gonna do is convert this into a simpler. So we're gonna come over here and tap that. Excellent. Now that we're in this menu, we can change our start and ending point. So let's zoom on out. So let's start it right on here, right on the downbeat. Then we're gonna come over here to the end point, and then we're gonna get this to stop right over there. Now we have a few modes to choose from. We're going to do the classic chopping mode. So we're gonna come over here to our modes and we're gonna scroll over and we're gonna to go to slicing. Now it's gonna ask what we wanna slice by. So we wanna slice this by manual. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna chop this up just like we would an NPC. Let's go for it. That's honey. Now we have all of our slices. Dope. So now how I like to use this is pitch it down. So we're gonna come out of this mode now. We're gonna go into our simpler. Then we're gonna come over here to global. And what we can do now is basically transpose this and get it to fit into a completely different vibe. This is one of my favorite strategies. So we're gonna transpose this. Let's see what it sounds down for. So we're gonna go ahead and record that. Let's turn our metronome on. Then what we're gonna do is set this to fixed length again. Then we're gonna do for four bars. So let's get that. Here we go. Sick. All right, 
if you guys sincerely want to take your production to the next level, I have a master class that will teach you all of these chords on the keys. We do have a chapter in there with the push three, but on the keys to learn these chords and learn these bass lines so you guys can really advance quickly so you can fast forward your process into very intuitive and creative production, then this master class is definitely the space for you. But most importantly, the community aspect. There's so much value in being able to share your tracks in the community and just have a good time together. Now this course also includes mixing and mastering and start generating money from your music. So if this interests you and you see yourself going to that next level, then I'll go ahead and leave that masterclass tag below so you have access to it. And I can tell you right now that we cannot wait to have you and look forward to seeing you in the community. Okay, so I ended up finding this bass, B bass. Then we came in here and we tweaked it. So we started over here in main. And so what I ended up doing was I came over here to envelopes and then I came over here to the sustain and just dropped it. Which is dope. So what we could do is we could add another device and add some distortion. So we can come over here to the plus, add a device. Then we're gonna come over here to audio effects and then let's add a little bit of roar to this perfect turn this drive up sick now we got some more resonance So I like where that is. So we're gonna add some MPE to this now. Let's add some MPE instruments. So let's come over here to the plus sign. Let's go to new MIDI track. And then let's go to sounds. Let's go to MPE sounds. We're gonna use that single coil. Okay, what we're gonna do now is change our scale. So we're actually in the key of E flat major. So we can do a rough arrangement with this bad boy. So what I'm gonna do is duplicate this a couple of times. So we're gonna get just the sample for one, and then we can get another version with the sample and the drums. Then we can get another version with the sample and the drums and the bass. And we can add the guitars to the last two. Let's listen to this vibe. Hey. the whole day on this vibe but that's pretty much how you could chop samples uh using the push three if you guys got any value out of this video feel free to smash that like button for your brother subscribe to the youtube channel and turn on those bell notifications so you don't miss anything else and i'll holler at you in the next one